Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's Brian and we are out today on the 2020 Road Glide Limited and I'm just getting some miles in and I wanted to talk about my Clearview windshield. So if you're familiar with my channel and I'll put a link somewhere up here because I can never remember which side it is. I think I'm dyslexic. Um, I've done reviews uh, before for the Ultra Limited with Clearview and um, they were nice enough to send me this windshield. I also have had them on a on one of my Beyond the Rider podcasts. I'll put a link in the comments uh, for that. That's something you're going to watch. Uh, Craig and Ryan, as far as I'm concerned, are great people. An absolutely great company with a great product. And I'm not saying that because they supplied it to me. I've had a Clearview windshield on my KLR and i absolutely loved it made it into a great touring bike by giving you all that wind protection i've had the touring windshield on the ultra limited as well as one of their smaller shields and they sent me this is an extra large light gray shield they sent me this and they also sent me a low profile shield to uh, run in the summer or for photo shoots or bike nights or ever when i want to look really cool um I don't think that'll ever work for me to look cool, but we'll try. So the thing that I really like about this windshield is this is the GT cut. So the GT cut is going to extend the windshield further out and that protects you more from wind. Because like I said, this is a touring windshield. You want as much coverage as possible. Um, it's very important when you get one of these windshields and I'll, I'll put up a, a couple still images. These windshields come coated in plastic. Clearview offers a deal where if you do not oh, if you do not remove the plastic, you can test the windshield out and make sure that you've purchased the correct windshield. Because I can tell you the difference between a large, extra large 2X is really significant and it's a lot more significant than I think a lot of people give it credit for. Now this is an XL and it probably comes down without looking at it with a, a level or ruler. Probably hits me right about here, like right about into the GoPro. So I could have gone higher, but I personally find that I like the lower windshield. I like to be able to see a little bit over it. Um, and I like to have a better view. Now one of the things that I like about this windshield versus the clockworks that was on this windshield, I'm sorry, that was on this bike, it doesn't have the hips or, or whatever the, the actual term is. Um, it doesn't have that hips, so it doesn't distort your view. So if you're going slow speed or you're trying to dodge a pothole or something, you can actually look through the windshield at any point and the view is not distorted. Now in no way, shape or form am I saying that, that Chrome works um, Chrome works. Oh my God, I'm losing my mind. Did I mention I've been sick? Clockworks makes a bad windshield. This windshield, in my opinion, is much better for my needs. By having the five position vent, which is down here, I can open this up in the summertime and move a lot of air. The other thing that I like about that is I don't have to change my windshields unless I want to. So if I'm riding and in in, in it's hot, I can drop the vent down and get more air through the cockpit rather than having to, you know, judge what screen I'm using based on the weather because this screen is going to be just absolutely superior when you're crushing miles. The other thing that I really like about this windshield is it has a recurve at the top and that recurve provides you with, I think they say, an extra two inches. Um, of height that, that it actually pushes the wind up another two inches and by doing that it actually acts as though the windshield's taller than it really is so for this windshield and being set up the way it is I can see and I can see comfortably over the windshield but I don't have to worry about um, having it so high that I need to to make sure that I'm that I'm just barely peeking over I had that on one of my previous bikes where it was pretty much just underneath my eyesight and while it was good it was not vented so it caused a lot of back pressure but it also 
made it very difficult because after a long ride, if you were shifting around and you moved just the slightest bit, you were now looking through the top of the windshield and with that recurve, it was distorted. So it's really important to, to look at the windshield and look at the sizing chart and make sure you take your time and size it up. Now I will say if you're not sure what to buy, call. Um, Craig is fantastic, Ryan is fantastic, I'm sorry I don't know the rest of the folks there, um, but they're really good in explaining to you what you need based on your height, um, your torso height, what the type of riding you do. Um, so I was really able to talk to them about that. Now, there are some things on their website um, that will show you how to fit a windshield to you properly. I believe they want you to pick a target like 50, um, 50 feet out and you should be able to see that target uh, unrestricted, meaning not through the windshield. Everybody has a different preference. I know some people like to use a level um, and see where, where that comes in to where they... Um, to the helmet ideally like I said a lot of people would want it up a little higher um, I'm a lot more comfortable with it here it's preference um, I don't know that there's a right answer the other thing that I can say that I really like about the GT cut and having the vent is my passenger feels a huge difference when you open the vent the difference that Katie feels is in the back here she feels like there's a lot more wind between us so she stays cooler when the vents open because the vents and i, I don't know the scientific reason for it but it, it's causing the air in the cockpit to stir more and it's causing the air between us to 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 get through so my passenger is feeling a difference the other thing that she's pointed out is when the vent is open she has less back pressure on her helmet which then alleviates any pressure on her neck which makes for a more comfortable ride um, and that's really what this is about it's about getting a windshield that's going to adapt to or not adapt but going to suit the way you ride a lot of people go and say oh you know we're just going to get a shorty windshield because it looks cool and then they get on the highway and you know and they're, they're hitting you know 80 miles an hour and all of a sudden they feel like they're going to be thrown off the bike and that's that's not the good feeling so you definitely want to look at the windshield height and you want to look at the way you ride and see how that's going to fit you and like i said if you have questions reach out to the folks at clearview they're going to be very happy to help you and they're going to be able to provide you with a lot of information. So, like I said, I've, I've owned several windshields from different manufacturers. And I have to say, for me, this suits me the best. I feel that the quality of the windshield is fantastic. It's really thick. It's protective. I've taken some rocks and bugs to my other windshields. I've had no issue. And I really like the fact that it's a smaller company, it's family owned, and when you call, you're not getting a call center, you're talking to either Craig or Ryan or, or one of the folks that really understands what they're selling. Um, I believe, and I don't hold me to this, but I also believe that they can make custom windshields uh, for you if you desire something a little off, uh, off catalog. But they make windshields for all major brands, so not just Harley-Davidson. So, like I said, I've run these on the Ultra, I've run them on the KLR, and I now have them on the Road Glide. And I couldn't tell you, I can't tell you how happy I am with this product. It really fits the way I ride, and it really makes a significant difference. When I came home from the dealership, I had, a, I had that low clockworks on here. And 80 miles an hour, 90 miles an hour on a turnpike, I felt like my neck was going to separate from my body. And that's understandable. It's a low windshield. It's not a, it's not a fault of the manufacturing. So it's like I said, this, you know, I've hit triple digits with this windshield and I had no buffering. I just was scooting along and uh, rocking and rolling. The other thing that is really cool, speaking of rocking and rolling, if you are not a blue 
Bluetooth headset user and you are only listening to your radio out of the speakers this makes a significant difference in how loud your radio is um, if you're familiar with the the boom system or the GTS system it has levels I would say that this windshield probably lets you go two or three levels lower and still have the same amount of volume so not only does your radio sound clear because you're getting all the wind protection and everything else and your bike actually sounds a lot cooler too because it's reverberating some of that engine sound and the exhaust so that the, the bike sounds a lot better to you as well um, and I really like the look of it and like I said you know the, the, the fact that you can test this out on your bike and return it if need be as long as you don't take off the packaging the packaging arrived I mean the bike the, the bike oh my I can't speak today the windshield was packed really well and it notes on that you know in big big orange stickers don't take it off try it that way you can provide you know feedback if it doesn't work or you know it's gonna work before you take the plastic off because there is absolutely nothing worse um, than, than living um, living the life of having a trailer full of uh, parts that don't work um, and let's face it I mean parts are expensive nothing is cheap anymore and if you're gonna buy a product you want to make sure it's the correct product so that's why I think it's really great that they have that program and you can test it out um, windshields are, are very subjective and that's going to give you the ability to make sure you get the, the fit that you want for the style that you ride. Um, I mean, that's really all I had. I, I really do enjoy this windshield. Um, I was chomping at the bit when Craig told me that they were going to send me this windshield and the smaller windshield. Um, because I knew it would make a big difference in not only the performance, but the look of the bike. Um, I will say I haven't uh, I don't have pictures of it yet I will post them shortly but that little screen and I don't recall for the life of me the size of it I want to say it's around 10 inches but please don't hold me to that I'll put it in the comments what size it is it looks incredible on this bike it's it's smoked out it's it's blacked out it's got a very aggressive look to it and it changes the bike so that's going to be the windshield when I go to bike night in the summertime, um, that's going to be my photo shoot windshield when I, when I want the bike to have a different look. And taking off the tour pack is going to give it that street glide, or I'm sorry, that road glide special look and uh, that aggressiveness that that bike has. So that's really all I had for today. Um, if you're new here, I'd appreciate it if you consider subscribing. If you subscribe, like, and comment, that really does drive the algorithm and helps build the channel. And as the channel builds, I get more and more opportunities to work with companies and test out products and to uh, talk about new things. The other thing I want to mention that I have uh, an Indy Ridge discount code now. So if you use the code Bry the Biker in um, all one word, then you go to IndyRidge.com, you can get 10% uh, off your order. So I thought that was very nice, so I just wanted to drop that uh, in the video so you know, because I get a lot of questions about the gear that I wear. Um, but yeah, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what your preferred windshield is and the preferred size. And I think what really would engage and help the comments is if you tell people what size windshield do you run, what size bike you it is, and how tall you are. Because that's the, that's the question. Everybody goes, well, how tall are you? I need to know because I'm XYZ tall. So do that. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Those three things are scientifically proven to make your day better. You do those three things, and I guarantee you, your life will change. Your life will be better. You will feel better. The karma of YouTube will pay you back. Now, none of that's been scientifically proven, but you can try it I mean it can't hurt um, so that's all I really had for today a big thanks to Clearview windshield for providing me with this windshield um, can't say enough about my relationship with Craig and Ryan
stand-up guys I love talking to them and uh, having the ability to work with them so like I said please check out the interview with them I think it's fantastic and uh, make sure you check out their products and if you do make a purchase please let them know that I sent you um, those kind of things like I said it's, it's like the algorithm those kind of things really do engage companies and companies see that the return and investment that they're getting for providing me materials to review so that's all I had um, I hope you guys are well I hope you're staying safe and please remember you're not alone thank you guys so much for watching have a great day